stay, man. This is Bandana the Rag, man. Gasoline Television, man. And uh, I want to talk about today, I want to talk about Death Row Records, man. I put up a post just a minute ago, you know, with Suge Knight saying that um, Tupac wife was the one that got the uh, Death Row deal for him. And I want to speak on that a little bit, man. Death Row Records, matter of fact, salute Suge Knight, salute Pop, salute everybody that had a part in Death Row Records, man. Everyone from the red side to the blue side, right? But what I want to say is, everybody, we speaking on Tupac right now, man. I see a lot of stuff coming up about Tupac and the whole East and West Coast situation, right? Okay, but one thing I want to say as a West Coast artist, as an artist coming out of Compton, California, the grind out here in Southern California is way much different because uh, lack of help, lack of support. So when Tupac came out of jail, when Suge Knight got Tupac out of jail, right? I'm going to tell you this. Everybody, you know, Interscope and all of them big time dudes in them situations, when a black man go to jail, they ain't going to come get you out. They ain't going to come rescue you. They ain't going to shoot you your checks or do none of the stuff that they, you're gone now. And that's how it's been, and it's still going on that way now, right? But I'm going to say this. Everybody want to know why Tupac, All Eyes On Me album, outsold everything on Death Row Records. There was no artist album that sold more than All Eyes On Me. And you want to know, and I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give you the game on it. You want to know what it was? It was Tupac heart. It was his structure. It was his mindset. It was his love for his people. Unity, the Black Panther movement, stuff he's seen in Oakland. What did he do? When he got out of jail and did that album, what did Tupac do? He got basically everybody from the West Coast to be a part of his album. Starving artists, people you didn't hear. You feel me? Rest in peace, badass. He put that boy on that song, Time Goes By. This dude gave everybody a chance. And that's something that a lot of people on the West Coast wasn't doing. They were giving their friends, their immediate friends, their immediate homies. They gave them dudes a shot, but they wouldn't give this dude across the way a shot. Easy e was a dude that did that, but he's no longer with us, right? So Tupac came with this double album. He had Sebo, Richie Rich, Drew Down. He brought, come on, he had Snoop Dogg. He had Daz. He had different people. From Southern California to Northern California, it was his heart. He knew in order to make a big impact, I have to bring everybody has to be aboard. And that's what he did. It all lies on me. And he had substance. He brought substance to death row. You know, it wasn't no substance like that. He brought it. Real life story. Pain. Pain. You listen to Tupac, even though he gave you ain't nothing but a gangster party. You go to, uh, 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 psh, come on, man. Go to Machiavelli. Tell me one of the, the uh, 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 part of songs on Machiavelli album. He wasn't afraid to address the problems in black America, the problems in the ghetto, the struggle. You feel me? And that's something I base my, my rap career on. That's what I try to do on every album, man. I try to tell the up and growing pains of a young man growing up in the ghetto. Everybody could rap. You can put a beat on and throw up your hood and throw up your gang. You feel me? But the whole album of that, what else do you bring to the table? What else do you bring to the table? If all you can tell me is how to shoot a gun at another black man, how to run up in a store with a mask on and take some money, how to, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? What else do you bring to the table? He brought them stories. Brenda's got his baby. Dear mama, I wonder if heaven got a ghetto. This white man's world. Come on, man. These are songs, man. Listen, you feel me? I shed so many tears. How long will they mourn me? How long will they mourn me? You know what I'm saying? So you got to look at it. When you talk about him, you talking about an uh, iconic artist, man, that was with togetherness. We don't have that today. We don't have that, man. I, I done ran into a lot of West Coast artists, and they don't, they're not, they're not, they don't come in with open arms. They don't come in with open arms. You know what I'm saying? I met a few. You know what I'm saying? And, and a few I met was humble and cool. I met MC8 before. He was real cool dude. Real cool brother, man. He chopped it up with me. And I appreciated that, right? RBX. That's a dude, man. When, hey, listen, man. Salute to RBX. That's a real one. That's a real. And he's a legend. 
He's a legend. That Chronic album couldn't have been made without RBX voice, man. It couldn't be made without RBX voice. And he's still around. So anybody that's, you know, on this West Coast, man, when you got these legendary dudes, these iconic cats, man, that's been a part of uh, history, you have to connect, man. I feel as though when Death Row fell, when Suge fell, fell off with Death Row, the West Coast wasn't supposed to fall off. What made Suge Knight sell a million albums and sell all them records? He brought Red and Blue together. He put Murder Was The Case. He had OFTB on there. He had Trey D and the Dog Pound on there. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what sold them albums because he brought this stuff together. We can't do it without each other. It's just plain to see. We can't do it without each other. I don't care you get the biggest Crip rapper. If he don't put no bloods on his album. He don't put no substance on his album. He don't get to talking about this real stuff, these real problems we face with. It ain't going to go nowhere. It's going to stay right there in the neighborhood, in the alley, in front of the dope spot, in front of the liquor store, in front of the gas station. It ain't going to go no further than that. You got to come together. We got to come together, man. And we got to do it hip-hop, not politic-wise, not street politic-wise. Oh, 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 he's coming out. He got to go through us. Or, you know, nah, nah. A man with talent is blessed with talent should be able to express his talent, man. It shouldn't be tied to this and tied to that. We done lost too many rappers to that. We done lost great rappers behind who they was tied to or what they were tied to. And we're going to continue to lose them until people have to just back off and let a man be a man. And if you let an artist be an artist, I say 60 to 70% of them going to come back and look out. They don't come back and look out for the hood, man, they, because that's where they come from. Some of them might not. It depends on what you put them through over there. It depends on what you did to the nigga. Now, if you done shot at him and pistol whipped him and slept with his girl and did all this old bullshit, he ain't got nothing but uh, 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 me bad memories there. He ain't finna come back. So we got to start uplifting these young artists, uplifting these legendary artists, and, 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 and pushing togetherness. You know what I'm saying? You got to put, you can't do it by yourself, man. And I'm, you know, and, and I'm in the works of that right now, man. I've been talking to a few people, man, and, 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 you know, I'm trying to bring the right machine, man. You got to have substance. You got to have a story, man. You can't do it just throwing up your hood and, and shooting a gun. The world don't need to hear no more of that. We didn't heard that since 85. What's different, man? A lot of shit didn't change in this world, and we got to talk about the changes in this world and what we want to see change in the ghetto. Everybody that rap didn't just rap about the ghetto. They rapped about what they wanted to see change. You feel me? You had cats like Ice Cube. You had cats. Everybody that was able to tell a story. DJ Quicks told a story. Even even Snoop Dogg told his story. Everybody had their own individual story. But we don't have togetherness, man. When is all of these individuals going to step to the forefront and togetherness and put out a platform for the people that was under them to give us a chance? You know what I'm saying? There's another Tupac out there. There's another Snoop Dogg out there. You feel me? Yeah, I said, man, listen, homie. It was, man, listen. Shout out to my boy Top Dog. The doggy style lead dude out there, man. These people need opportunity, man. We need help out here on this West Coast. It's a lot of good talent, man. You feel what I'm saying? It's a lot of good talent out here, man. And until we come together, until we come together the right way, and the only way we're going to come together is out of love, man. You can't bring nothing together evil and bring nothing together with all this hate and think it's going to last. That'll show you something there and there. If you ain't bringing it together out of love, come on, man. It's, it's a spirituality and all this stuff, too, man. If you ain't got good hearts, you ain't going to, listen, you ain't going to go. That's why you got cats like Dr. Dre. And when he made it and got to where he wanted, he's so comfortable, he want to be where he at. And he looked out. He, he did something with Compton High, put all the computers in there, salute to him. He came back and signed game. That was another big thing. That was something that the West Coast needed. But he's not the only one in position to do some helping. Everybody got to do it, man. Everybody that was a somebody. You, 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 you a legendary rapper? Okay, guess what? Sign five or six dudes from different neighborhoods and get these dudes opportunity and go on a little small chitlin' circuit tour and feed these dudes and promote your brand. One of these little young dudes that you sign might be the next one to bring your career back. It goes hand in hand, but it's with your heart, homie. If you don't do nothing with your heart, it ain't going to go nowhere, man. Tupac had a heart. Tupac had the biggest heart, man. He helped everybody, man. Everybody's still eating off them All Eyes On Me albums. All them Tupac songs, them, they're still getting royalty checks from there. And that's the legacy he left. That's the legacy he left. 
black man help another black man. As soon as that man died, it, 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 the legacy seemed like, you know, it stopped. You know, I was on the outlaws about, you know, a lot of things in there, man, but I got to look at it both ways on them. It was his friends. Maybe them dudes were silent for a reason. I don't want to make up an excuse for it, but I, I just feel like I wish they were strong enough to keep that man legacy going. That was his group. That was his crew. Thug Life was his group. That was his crew. And when a man died that, that changed your life and did so much for you, I feel it's your obligation as a man to keep it going. You feel what I'm saying? But maybe they didn't have a lot of opportunities to, to keep it going. Maybe they didn't have the resources once he left. I don't know what, what the excuse is on that, but I only know what I see. You feel me? I know what I see. Easy e signed Bone Thugs and Harmony. Salute to them. But they didn't come back and sign nobody from Compton. See what I'm saying? It's hand in hand. We got to help each other. Hand in hand. And when their careers started slowly going down, guess what? That little artist from Compton that they signed and reached up, he's finna blow up. Shit, you should have signed Lil Easy E. Bone Thugs and Harmony presents Lil E. We have to start helping each other, man. That's just the bottom line to this whole thing, man. You feel me? Rest in peace to Tupac. Much love to everybody that participated on Death Row, but it's a lot of you iconic dudes on this West Coast, in rap in general, are not helping. Not putting the opportunity out there for the next up-and-coming artist to be able to blossom and shine. You feel what I'm saying? Period. This is me, Band Down of the Rag, signing off, man. You feel me? Gasoline TV, gasoline television. Shout out to Refuse Media. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Refuse Radio, Top Shelf Job, Top Shelf T, my extended family forever, man. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody I fuck with, man. But like I said, man, I'm here. I'm speaking on these things because I want to see a change. And I'm trying to bring awareness and I'm looking for the right help to bring us all together and provide the right opportunity so we all can have a chance to feed our children and eat and, and get to the next level in this game. Signing off.